Hey, what's going on? It's Keith. Uh, today we're preparing uh, a stair runner for Jody. We're doing, uh, this is Anderson Tough Tech Cliff Edge. So uh, sit back, enjoy the ride. This is the process that we do to uh, prepare your runner for you. So Jody's got two sets of stairs. One is 7.5 and one is 6.5. And the reason why we say 6.5 or 7.5 because that top riser always needs to be covered. So it's always that extra half step. So when you're looking to purchase carpet on the website at directcarpet.com, make sure that you always, uh, when you're measuring and stuff, that you add that extra riser in, which is, you know, usually six inches, could be eight inches. Uh, just make sure you uh, measure appropriately. So as I was saying, Jody's got 6.5 and 7.5. So how the math usually works is a normal stair is about 18 inches. So when I do my math, I usually allow 19 inches times the amount of stairs. So 19 times 7.5, 7.5. Times 19 inches divided by 12 per foot, right? Equals 11.87. So basically she needs 12 feet for her first one. And then her other one is 6.5 times 19 divided by 12 equals 10.29. So 11 feet. So she actually needs 23 feet for this uh, job because we're gonna make sure that we uh, sew the bottom. So she has that top right or the bottom risers nice and finished and then we're gonna sew the top. So she has the top riser for both. So we're gonna get on that now. So she needs basically 10 and a half feet for 6.5 stairs and she needs basically a little 12 feet for 7.5 stairs. So. You know, listen, sometimes stairs are bigger. Sometimes you do stairs that are 22 inches. So just make sure that you check your stairs. Like I said, most stairs are around 18.5 inches to 19 inches. Check your stair. It's on the site on how to do it. I'll try to drop a link in uh, for that in this video. But other than that, stick around. We're going to cut it up. She ordered it uh, 26 inches wide. So we're going to cut that uh, herringbone carpet runner down to 26.5. We're going to sew it up box it up and get that shipped out for Jody today. Okay, so we've got the two pieces cut. We've got a 12 footer for Jody's 7.5 stairs and we've got an 11 footer for her 6.5 stairs. So we're gonna sew them up. Let's do that. So this is the machine that we use to sew everything. This is a very heavy duty industrial sewing machine. We've got a few of our colors on the wall here. So now we just have to find a match for that, which is probably going to be what's already in the machine, but we're going to check that now. Hey man, how the hell you doing? I've been just fine living life with the new sand. In my mind, all I hear is music, watching your mouth move. Everything we do here at Direct Carpet is hand prepared, hand cut, hand sewn. Uh, we take care of your order right from the get go, from the beginning right through to the following end. This carpet is called Anderson Tough Tech Cliff Edge. I 
love the chase and the hunt And I set the pace when I'm running I always do what I want And I always do what I don't need a bank, no, I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror, if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity to find All right, so there is your bottom edge, nice and finished. And then we did the same thing on the inside at the top, right? That's all bound and finished. This will be the bottom. Carpet always has directions. You guys can see this. And usually what I'll do is I will mark on the bottom here. You guys can see that it has a direction. You can kind of see the way that that sewing is, is webbed. And it comes, it looks like it comes this way and you can feel it. So it stands up that way and it comes down this way. All carpet should run down the stairs like water. It's the way that it's meant to wear. So what we're gonna do is we'll mark on the bottom of this stair runner for Jody, start here. And that just, you know, takes uh, any uh, guesswork out of where to start. So as long as you're using the right tools with this, uh, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys for the tools to uh, our blog. So we just wrote on here, start here, 7.5 stairs, 12 feet long. We've noticed if we use stickers and if the stickers fall off during transport, then people will get what runner for what stairway mixed up. So we just wanted to let Jody know, you know, here's the 12 foot one for your 7.5 stairs with the arrows start here. So the pile is at the bottom and we'll do the exact same thing for the 6.5 as well. All right, now this one does 6.5 stairs. This is the bottom like we talked about. Pile runs this way. So we will mark on the bottom, start here. And don't worry, the marker does not go through. Like I said before, stickers fall off and then people can't tell what they're doing. So we uh, put it on with marker and then uh, there's no room for error. So start here, 6.5 stairs, 11 feet. Okay, so now Jody's set up. She knows where she's gonna start her uh, stair runner. So this is a 28 inch runner. We're gonna get the pad prepped up for her. Now with a 28 inch runner, you want 26 inch under pad. Now, we are putting the under pad in for free with your order. So when you do order a stair runner from directcarbon.com, we will uh, be cutting your pad for you and including it in your order. Plus free shipping, don't forget. So let's get that pad prepped now and, uh, and you guys can see how that's done. 
So Jody's got 6.5 on one flight and 7.5 on the other. If you do your math right, she needs 13 pieces of underpad at 26 inch. So we only supply the underpad for the tops and there are videos uh, on the website for you guys to uh, see how we put that on with a proper stable gun. Uh, you can use your electric gun stable. We're gonna cut this one down to 26. And I said she needed 13, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's grab a couple more. So one thing I always do when, uh, when we package up your pad for you is I usually do send you one extra piece uh, in case you need it, just because I never want you guys to be short. So we've got, uh, instead of 13, I've got 14 there. Let's cut these up. We cut the length for you, but you will finalize the width depending on your stair. I just have a simple wood template here that I lay them out on. I got measured off at 24, 26, and 28. Like I said, she's got a 28 inch runner. So we're cutting her 26 inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 15 here, you know what? We'll give her 15 just because we do. Okay, so we're gonna box it up right now. Now, I like to put them in a bag just because it makes me feel a little bit better in case they get a little wet. The under pile will dry, so will the carpet, but I like to add a little protection. So I like to ship them in a bag, close the bag up. So there's the 6.5 and the 7.5 ready to go for Jody. All right. So now we'll wait, we'll take it to the scale. Alright, let's see how much that weighs. That says 37 pounds exactly. All right, we'll print some shipping labels and we'll drop that off at uh, at the UPS store and uh, Jody should have her runner in uh, a couple of days. Let me know what you think of this video. This is the first video we're actually putting out and showing the new business, uh, making and shipping these runners. You know, usually I'm just installing them. So we make them, we install them. And then I got so many requests from YouTube. I went into a separate business 
making these for people around the world. So uh, it's been uh, interesting and growing. Let me know what you think. If you like it, leave a leave a comment below, a like, you know, give a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Uh, it's been a while since I put a video out on YouTube because I've been really busy with the new company. So and uh, and the weather, as you know, has been absolutely fantastic. How you doing? Good, I was dropping off. Hold on. Thanks. Okay, so we did it. You guys got to follow me around for a day or a half a day and uh, make a runner and ship it off to Jody. Uh, Store's doing well. It's fantastic. Uh, if you guys have any questions, hit me up. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you need a stair runner, go to directcarp.com. We'll see you on the next one.